Hey everybody, Norm over here, and uh, we were rummaging through our house and found a couple things. I know sometimes you guys, some of you folks are interested in some of my history before the store and all that. Um, I came out here with a band in 1970, and this was the band right here, Katmandu, and we had Bobby Caldwell, a great guitar player, bass player, and singer, had a big hit with What You Won't Do For Love, was in it, and we were on Mainstream Records, which was the same label that Janis Joplin was on with Big Brother and the Holding Company. Apparently, they ended up, right after we did our record, we found out Janis Joplin was suing Mainstream because they weren't getting any royalties or something. Kind of the story of my music career. But Little Richard actually is the one who brought us out to California and his brother Peyton Penniman was our manager. And we found this, Marlene just found this and I had it uh, plasticized or whatever you want to call it. But we were playing in a club in Sherman Oaks and here's our uh, poster. This is from 1970. Shut up and listen to Little Richard's new group, Katmandu, appearing. And then it was a club called The Brass Ring, which was a great, a great club, which was out here in the San Fernando Valley. And then it says, appearing, uh, you're, you're probably asking, who the hell is Katmandu? Can you say that Katmandu is the hash capital of the world? Now, of course, this was 1970 and in the late 60s were cruel to a lot of people, including myself, and uh, did a lot of crazy stuff back then. And then it says, new important rock and roll group, uh, an energetic and exciting rhythm and blues band presented to you by Little Richard and the king of rock and roll. Katmandu uh, accomplishes no less than the total rock enterprise experience, excuse me. So, uh, you know, it's a little goofy, but you know, sometimes you go through your stuff. I didn't even think we had this. I forgot all about it. And my wife, Marlene, found it. So we had it laminated. And I just thought, you know, it's kind of an interesting craze to the story. This was before I had a store. I was kind of buying and selling things on the side out of a house that my whole band was living in. And then eventually in 75, we opened the store. So um, uh, some of uh, my music history, uh, which is not very memorable. Uh, you know, we didn't have much success and probably deservedly so. But, you know, we were, we were an interesting band. We were pretty good players. Bobby Caldwell went on to a lot of very big things. And uh, so I just thought you might want to see this. A little nutty, but here it is. Let's turn it around, Norm, this one. Oh, that's cool. Can you put that on Spotify or anything? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody may want to throw darts, but... No. But this was a great club, the Brass Ring. It was here in the San Fernando Valley. So a lot of great groups played there. Thanks, Norm. There it is. <laughs> that was awesome.